Let's talk about how to create a basic sales report in Tableau Desktop so that you can then publish it to Tableau Server. So first, you're going to need to connect to the data source and I'm going to connect to SQL Server here. I'm just going to use my local SQL Server instance. Obviously, if you had a remote server that you were connecting to, you would just put in that information. Um, connect, and then I have a sample database called AdventureWorks. Um, and here we're going to put in custom SQL. Um, you could connect a, a single table or multiple tables and define the relationships. Um, but when you start the right real reports you're going to want to put in um, you're going to actually want to write your SQL and, um, and and put that SQL in or connect to like views or store procedures or, or whatever um, but I, I actually have another video we have another video that we showed how to write the cells data um, uh, SQL here so and we're going to name this uh, let's pull this up Data cells data two. All right, and then we're just going to connect to the live database. You could um, create like a meta layer um, where Tableau has this in, this layer in between the database and uh, Tableau servers, so that you're not connecting to your live application database. But for now, we're just going to connect to the live database. Okay, so here's our report. Um, here was our query. Um, you can see that uh, we have a, um, our query that produces our results here, um, which are our dimensions um, and then measures. Uh, dimensions are more like labels, like the country, the state, the name, um, the order date. The measures are going to be more like your numbers, like the amounts. So, like, so this is subtotal is the actual sales amount. So let's go ahead and um, drag some some of the the columns into the area. And so this whole layout is kind of similar to a a pivot table type layout where you have um, your data um, and your fields in the middle, and then you have rows and columns. So let's just uh, for now let's let's put our subtotal um, in our um, our data area. And then um, we're gonna put our country as a filter. Uh, we're gonna have all. We're gonna select all of those, all countries, um, for our rows. I'm sorry, for our columns, we're gonna put order date. And notice how th I mean, this is a really nice feature. I like the way it does this um, on the fly. Um, it basically aggregates the data for you um, into quarters, um, years. Um, you know whatever you want so very much so like a pivot table so um, again that's really nice because I'm just pulling in the date it's literally like a, a day month year date that's being um, brought in within the SQL query and it automatically aggregates it into these different levels for us and so let's go ahead and put in our state province Okay, so now we have a report uh, that shows our state province um, uh, by by year or by date, however we want to um, filter that. So now what we want to probably do is create a, um, we have a filter here called country, but we probably want to create a parameter um, that allows the user to select the different countries um, and then link that on the report. So. I'm going to right click this and I'm going the country and I'm going to create a parameter and we're going to just leave that as a uh, country parameter um, and then we're going to go to our filter we need to link the um, uh, the filter uh, to that parameter that we just created so we'll go to condition uh, by formula and we'll say country equals the country parameter. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so now uh, that should give us everything we need um, to basically have the uh, the parameter on the report. Okay. So now we have a sales report um, by by country, uh, by state, uh, by order date. So let's publish that to Tableau server. So that's where the area that we would publish it so that our users then could go to a, a, a web portal, a URL to run the report themselves. We're just running it locally on our machine. So we want to publish that work. Uh, this is my local um, instance for Tableau server. Um, Uh, and then I want to I want to give it a name. Um, if I have a project set up, I'm just going to call this Sales Report Two. Um, and then you can um, obviously you can you can um, change your permissions um, to what users you want to allow to run the report. And here, um, uh, this is kind of key right here. This authentication button. You want to make sure that you don't want to prompt the user. Um, for the database password. So you want to embed that in the report. So I'm just going to embed that in the report. Now I'm going to publish it. Great. So it gives me a, a, a preview um, of the report um, here. So we could go into now we can go into the um, Tableau server and we can see uh, here is the report uh, that we just published. Um, but as you can see, I'm showing the parameter, but I don't have the the parameter is not selectable right now. I've, it's just filtering right now. So let's go back and um, make sure that our parameter um, is correct, so that we can, because um, we want to be able to actually um, change uh, values there. So let's see. Okay, so now that I added the parameter um, back to the report, you can see now I just let's test it. Great, you can see how everything's going to then filter based upon that parameter. So now let's go into uh, back into our browser and look at the report that's just been published. And so here's the report in our in our uh, in our um, web portal to so that we can just run the report and so yeah I can then choose um, a different country right and so now I see this on the fly interactivity that's really nice see I literally can expand my year right there on the fly and then I can exp to then I get my quarter then I can expand my quarter to get my month right so I can I can sit there and drill in drill out um, in and out of data right there on the fly um, within the report without having to rerun the report um, the parameter change the parameters on the fly um, and it changes the data uh, correspondingly